is Apple Gamer 24 7. I'm here to give you guys today a one week review of my new 27 inch iMac that I recently unboxed on my channel. Um, I will have a video link to that video in case you guys want to watch the unboxing down in the description in case you guys are interested. But I thought I might take the time today to give you guys sort of like an update on my experiences since I've been using this for a week and also give you guys a full on uh, benchmark test of this new 27 inch iMac in case you guys are, are looking to buy one. Um, my on the side, probably about now, I will probably list my um, specs of my machine in case you guys want to build the same configuration. Um, all this in this machine is not stock. Everything has been customized just a little bit. Uh, the processor's been upgraded. The RAM has been upgraded to 16 gigabytes. Um, the graphics card's been updated. The, uh, I have a 3 terabyte fusion drive. So pretty much everything is on non-stock. But um, this will give you guys sort of an idea of what kind of performance you are expecting in this machine. In this test, I ran um, the program called Geekbench, and basically for people that don't know what Geekbench is, it's basically a program that allows you to run a series of algorithms that test the benchmark of your computer. In this clip, as you can see, it's going pretty fast. Um, it runs a series of tests to test the hard drive, the memory, the CPU, so just a basically of a test, and I think I achieved a score uh, right around 14,000. I'm not really too sure since this is just recorded after the fact, but um, the at the end is the following score that I got. And you can compare this to uh, your uh, Geekbench scores if you want to download Geekbench. It's a free program, but the 64-bit just costs a little bit more money. So depending on what version you have, uh, the results will vary. In this clip, I ran the benchmarking um, program called Nova Bench. Now, what's different from Nova Bench compared to Geekbench is I think it's not as popular. A lot of people don't use Nova Bench because I think it's only available for the Mac. But you can pick it up if you want to download it in the Mac App Store. Just search Nova Bench; it's free, so you can try it out on your Mac to see if uh, what kind of benchmark uh, things that you can achieve with it. But what's different compared to this uh, with Geekbench is that I think this runs, as you can see right now, it runs something with your graphics card to test its frame rate and everything, which I think is pretty cool. So um, that's something a little bit different uh, compared to uh, Geekbench. So at the end of this club, you will see the following score I received. Alright guys, the final test I ran is a Blackmagic speed test app. Uh, this is basically a disk speed test that allows you to test the read and write speeds of your hard drive. Um, as I said in the beginning clip of my specs, I have an Apple 3 terabyte fusion drive, which is part SSD, part traditional hard drive. So as you can see, I'm, receive, I'm receiving the uh, high speeds of an SSD, but the storage of a traditional hard drive, which is good. So it's testing all the video codecs that you can see down below that they use to determine your hard drive speed so at the end are just um, some of the um, random numbers that I was getting uh, with my SSD Alright, hey guys, um, this part of the review is going to be like my one week impression of it, my take on it. Um, after you've seen the benchmarks and everything, this is basically overall just a sort of like a little review of my experiences. I have no means to do a full review just yet. I think I might give it a few months and really use the uh, new 27 iMac to its full potential and really get some good performance out of it before I go off and make a full review on it. But this is like my one week impressions, my first impressions of it. And then just um, overall some uh, little things that I um, noticed if I'm using it for a week. So the first thing I do want to talk about is the display. Uh, this display is a lot bigger compared to the 21 and a half inch iMac that I had previously. It is 27 inches across. Um, so it has a resolution of 2560 by 1440 I believe. I'm not really too sure on the resolution. And I just have to say the screen is really big compared to this one. There's a lot more screen real estate to work with in terms of um, moving apps around. <coughs> and have the multiple windows open and sorry guys if I sound a little bit weird I'm having a really bad allergy season this year so if my voice sounds just a little bit different or I cough a lot it's just because of my terrible allergies but besides from that um there's a lot more room to move windows around and have multiple apps on like big apps like Final Cut Pro, uh, ScreenFlow, uh, ITV is a pretty big app at times and also Photoshop 
um, there's a lot more real estate to work with and um, this just makes um, getting um, work done a lot more easier. So if you're looking for a nice productivity thing, the screen is something to uh, take notice about. Um, also, I heard from last generation 27 inch users that this panel right here is a big improvement compared to the last panel. Um, I, <laughs> I guess compared to this panel, uh, the last year's panel was not, the, the, the display is not glued to the the glass like the other one is, like laminated. This one is, but the last one wasn't. So like when you're looking at this, it sort of gives you the impression that you're looking at a retina display, but it's not really a retina display. The, the glass is the the screen's is laminated to the glass. So that's one thing. Um, if you guys didn't know about, that, that's something you uh, can learn about from this video. Also, the performance is really nice. That seems really faster compared to the iMac. Everything just runs buttery smooth. Um, the 16 gigs of RAM really help uh, with Final Cut Pro and um, in terms of getting my editing done and also programs like Photoshop or ITV when I'm rendering multiple pictures or graphics or uh, recording <laughs> recurring gameplay. Um, Dreamweaver is also really good too if I'm making a website um, I can have um, that going and also have um, Final Cut Pro and um, Photoshop open at the same time. Um, as I said, going from uh, USB 2 to USB 3, I really couldn't test it because all my equipment is USB 2 and there would be, um, <coughs> I would have to go out and buy something to uh, take advantage of the USB 3. Um, some people seem, uh, one thing I didn't really like about it was the SD card on the back, but I don't really use uh, the SD card slot on the back. I usually have a U little USB one that I can stick into my hub. So if you're a person that uses an SD card a lot to transfer pictures or movies, I do recommend uh, maybe buying a USB adapter so you can place it in the front or um, just use a direct USB cable from your camera because uh, that's one thing I don't like about the new design of this iMac. Uh, the whole thing is that it, the, the SD card slot is on the back. Um, and also, I did order my iMac with the uh, USB Super Drive, and it works just the same. The one thing I did notice in terms of the operating system is that when you press the eject button on the keyboard, um, when you don't have anything in here, it doesn't recognize it as a the, like the key was never pressed, so you don't get the little ejection uh, pop up that you usually would on the um, if you had a CD drive in your iMac. So anyway guys, I'm sorry about my voice. I know I sound terrible. It's just having a really bad allergy season this year. But besides that, if you guys have any questions uh, with this 27-inch iMac, just leave me a comment down below or message me on my website or on YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next